So I haven't really talked about Godzilla X Kong and Godzilla 2024 all that much. The last time I did talk about it and the first time was several days ago. I believe on Sunday when I made a video making fun of the new trailer that released for having, let's say, less than good CGI. I'm fully aware, by the way, that trailer, the CGI in it is not finished and it was kind of a last minute decision to make the trailer, but it was like partial rage bait because it just looked so uncanny. And by the way, do you consider subscribing with notifications on, especially with notifications on, that helps the channel out so, so much. I really appreciate it. Also, as many of you know already, but I'm just going to say it again, I'm making a push to make a lot better content than I have made this past year getting rid of all the clickbait garbage that i've become infamous for and instead making content that is either entertaining enjoyable or just informative i mean we've already seen how godzilla minus one was, was released in kaiju universe like the week that godzilla minus one released in the u.s at that point the movie had already been seen by enough people or something or hadn't been shown enough times for people to get some sort of idea of what to make for it about a year ago, Kaiju Universe would do a lot of Q&A sessions. Community asks questions in some channel, I believe, and then developers will respond to that. They're no longer using this Q&A document for good reason, because it's basically been replaced by a channel in Discord called Dev Responses. This is basically just the Q&A, but without the need to update it every like month or so when a new Q&A is done, and it's just responding to questions within a reasonable time of course there's like some silly questions in here like this but about a year ago some individual decided to ask well how many monster vs godzillas do you guys plan on making because kaiju universe already has five of them i almost said three i remembered that frostbite and thermo exist but like the ones that aren't game passes you have g14 g19 g21 and the response from one of the owners was as many as possible. And this isn't even like they're planning to make as many as possible. They are going to make as many Monster vs. Godzilla's as possible. And it is said in this document that the information could change. Even with this in mind, I have some big doubts that this is going to change because Godzilla Minus One blew up Kaiju Universe like never before, pretty much. Like, okay, it wasn't that big compared to some previous updates, but it's like the most alive Kaiju Universe has been this year, since this year has gained a reputation as being one of the worst years for Kaiju Universe ever. Like, every new Kaiju is just a complete mess, terrible, terrible balancing. It's, it's completely ridiculous. It's worse than every other year Kaiju Universe has been through. But, minus one, like, if you just look at YouTube views as well, like, everything is up. People are legitimately excited. Godzilla minus one is, like you know, the best movie ever made, and this is the first game to add Godzilla Minus One, except Godzilla Battle Line, if I remember correctly. It looks kind of silly in Battle Line. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, Godzilla 2024 is pretty much guaranteed to be added. Like, it was already confirmed here that they're going to make as many Monster vs. Godzilla as possible. And even if this does change, even if, oh, it's not confirmed, I, I mean, just trust me, it's going to happen, because the, whenever a new Godzilla gets added it blows up the game. Like, in the past, G21, Godzilla Ultima have all been added around the time of their movies or, like, TV shows or whatever, and that blew up Kaiju Universe without a doubt. So, that's about it. Goodbye, chat.